What's up everybody, and welcome back to our how-to series where we're exploring the creation of an arcade game from start to finish. I'm Brian Peterson, and we're at the Fabricator shop where we're gonna look into closer detail on how to build a custom arcade cabinet. Let's check it out. Here I am, I'm with Jared Ellison. He's our fabricator for this project. Jared, what do we got going on today? Well, we're gonna build an arcade cabinet from the ground up. We're gonna make it the way we want it, so. That's the best way to do it. That is the best way to do it. I talked with the people over at Full Sail. What they needed as far as the cabinet, what kind of game they were gonna develop to put in it, yep. how many players, how many buttons you need, so they sent me over this reference material here. They wanted kind of a similar project. They wanted something that's mobile, that can go from place to place, fit through doors. So I needed to customize it a little bit, so we talked about that. Aesthetic-wise, it's, it's your graphics on the side, your bezel sign that's up here. But everything else is basically there for safety reasons. Oh, yeah. You don't want little kids running through the arcade or yep. somebody six foot tall hitting a, a sharp corner up here or down here. So all of these corners are, are rolled off for a reason. So if you hit your head or you hit your side, Got you're it. hitting a rounded off corner instead of a point much more comfortable. If you're looking at the example that they sent over, this the classic arcade right. joystick and buttons. Um, that all goes into, you need to know what kind of game you're making, how many players. How many actions do those players have mm -hmm. determines how many buttons and joysticks you have in your game. Right. The game that they designed, you don't necessarily need to use the classic arcade setup. Plus they wanted the control panel to be a little bit smaller to go in and out of doors with ease. Gotcha. So we're using an aftermarket plug and play system. Oh, okay. To where it goes in and it's just a, a, a preset, pre-made uh, controller that's gonna go on top, it's gonna recess into a panel. It'll act and work just the same, just not gonna look like a classic arcade thing. Gotcha. What program are we actually working in to actually pull this design out and put it to a piece of wood? This time I'm using SketchUp. There's a lot of drawing programs out there. You can use AutoCAD, ProFusion. SketchUp is an open source program. It's free to anybody. So what we do is we take the design and the concept and we put it in here. You can draw each panel as you can see all by itself. And everything is fully measured by the program so right. you know it's gonna fit as long as you mirror out there, what you do in here, you know it's gonna work. And once you get all your measurements in there, you can put everything together, clicking on the corner here and dragging it over to the box. Corners will automatically go in together or you can put them wherever you want. Um, as you can see here, I have a panel that's missing. So just to give you an example of how this works, as you take your measurement, you want this panel to be all the way across here. So you'll take your measuring tape and you'll go from here to here and you know that your uh, panel has to be 10 and 7 eighths inches. And 7 eighths inches, and there you go. So this looks as easy as it is. How do we actually take this design and take it to actual measurements and actual pieces of wood? So you take every piece of this apart and spread it out. And you take your dimensions tool and you go from corner to corner. So you can measure every single corner to corner aspect of each piece Print it out on, the, on a printer, yep. take your paper to your shop, and physically measure wow. everything out. Well, this really is perfect for every do-it-yourselfer. It is. It's real easy to learn, and anybody can do it. That's awesome. All right, well, let's take it out to the workshop and see how it's going to cut. Let's do it. Here it is, right off the press, paper designs. I'm going to pass that over to you. Yep. So what's this material that we're going to actually use for our cabinet? This is MDF, medium density fiberboard. You can buy this at any wood outlet. As you can see through the whole thing, everything's the same material. When you use plywood, it's a bunch of sheets glued together. This is the same all the way through. No matter how much I sand this down, it's gonna look nice and clean and smooth. Plus, at the very end, when you go to put your graphics on it, it's a great material to adhere to. Well, let's get to cutting, right? I think we're ready to go. Remember when you cut, constantly press on this plate while you go through. Push it all the way past the blade, turn it off, wait for it to stop before you take your material away. Gotcha. All right, awesome. Well, thanks to our show production students from Full Sail, Phil and Brenda have already cut everything and laid everything out, and now it's time to assemble. All right, guys, where do we begin? Well, we begin by laying everything out. You want to take all your pieces that you cut, make sure you mark everything so you know what's what. Yep. These are our braces. Cool. So we're going to, that's what's laid out first. A lot of people use glue screws, a lot of people use nails. We're going to use staples and, and uh, glue on this one. The reason being is because if we use nails or screws, you're going to have big holes 
and we're putting applying graphics to this at the end, so it's going to give us a nice, cleaner finish. Um, also, the glue, when you spread it on here, adds tension and strength to your construction. So a lot of people like to do what's called a dry fit, where you take all your pieces, you clamp them together. And something like this, it's not necessarily feasible. Not everybody in America has 33 foot clamps in their garage. Right. We want this project to, you know, for anybody to easily do in their own home if they want to. So your clamp becomes your partner. This is why we got two people here. Put the piece in place, glue it, your partner holds it, make sure it's lined up, make sure everything is great, and move on to your next piece. Looks like it's ready to go on the floor, right guys? That's right. That's right. Let's do it. All right guys, here we are. Our next step of our arcade cabinet. We sent out artwork to a large format printing company. Everyone, this is Roy and Jamie. These are our sign installers. What are you guys getting into? Oh, we're just sizing up the actual material before we actually apply it to the, uh, up the cabinet. Make yeah. sure that it's gonna, everything's gonna fit and work like it's supposed to. It looks like it. I mean, that artwork looks awesome. The lines look perfect. I mean, what do you yep. guys think? Everything looks like it's gonna, it's gonna work fine. Oh, awesome. And we're gonna roll the material up and do a, uh, a quick wipe down and go ahead and start applying. Oh, awesome. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start peeling the back of the uh, backing paper off and uh, go ahead and get ready to uh, apply it. Yeah, this stuff is really good vinyl because it allows you to kind of pull it back and adjust it. The little bit of the image kind of overlays on the side. Is that intentional? It does. It's a, it's a bleed to give us coverage. So it's not just a solid line and that's it, you know? You have a little bit of room to kind of wiggle with. A at the very end, you would probably use a razor blade and cleanly yeah. Yeah. Each side, right? So now we're ready to go ahead and start squeegeeing down. Because all the lines match up real nice. Everything goes down, and what we'll do is we'll probably start in the middle, and we'll work up, cool. and then we'll take this piece, fold it up, take the backing paper off a bit, and go ahead and start oh, cool. working down. Wow, Jamie, Roy, you guys did a great job on this graphic. Thank you, graphic. sir. Holy cow, like it is smooth as possible, and it is cut perfectly. You guys did a great job. All right, next step, electronics. Our cabinet is electronic ready. It's ready for a monitor, it's ready for a controller, and it's ready for a, uh, a, uh, wait, what's this supposed to be? It's for the coin slot. Oh, cool. So now our arcade game will look as cool as all the other ones. Yep. Is that it? Is that all we gotta do? Nope, gotta go around back. All right, let's install. Oh, hey, look, there's Phil. What's up, dude? What's going on, guys? Getting ready to store the coin slot with these uh, brackets and screws I got here. Oh, cool, the controller, that's so awesome. We bought a plug and play controller, oh, which cool. makes it easier because there's no programming involved. All you do is plug it into the computer and ready to play. As easy as that. And you're about to mount it? Yes, I am. Oh, keyboard and mouse for the computer. This is what this drawer was for. The game's brain, let's plug her in. Uh, we're plugging in our keyboard, our controller, and our speakers, uh, this is just your everyday tower you can pick up from anywhere that you find fit to play your game. Cool. And load your games and you're ready to go. All right, where's our power, Phil? Power's going into our power strip that we installed here. Awesome. Uh, we installed a cord port out so that we can plug into just a single outlet wherever you want to put your game. Super easy. Let's do it. Well, speakers are installed. Those are just normal computer speakers, so they have their own power source. Plugs right into the computer but there's something missing. What's missing? The monitor. Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> now, we're gonna hold it in. Could you grab that from the back for us? Absolutely. All right. Now it's time to go around back and then mount it. Now we're using this plexiglass to protect the screen of the monitor. Cool. Thanks to the printing company, they actually made us a translite also. And it looks like we're about to mount it. How are we gonna mount it, guys? Yeah, we're gonna use brackets. Sweet. Place the brackets up here, one at the bottom, 
We got one good. at the top. And one yeah. at the top. Man, the game developers are gonna be so stoked to see this. All right, guys, we have the cabinet. We're gonna surprise the game developers. <laughs> yep, oh, what we got? Hey. Hey, what's up? I have a surprise for you. It's been really cool to follow this game from concept, to coding, to build, all the way to installing the electronics today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Full Sail University's YouTube page and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to learn any more about the information or degrees here at Full Sail University, be sure to visit fullsail.edu. I gotta get another game. Watch out.